ஸ்ரீ குருபியோ நமக வெல்கம் டு ஆன்லைன் டீச்சிங் அகாடமி ஏ கலைவா கிளாஸ் செவன் சோஷியல் சயின்ஸ் இன் ஜியோகிரஃபி வி ஆர் கோயிங் டு சி த டாபிக் நேச்சுரல் வெஜிடேஷன் அண்ட் வைல்ட் லைஃப் திஸ் இஸ் த செகண்ட் பார்ட் ஆஃப் திஸ் லெசன் இந்த ஏர்லியர் செஷன் ப்ரீவியஸ்லி வி ஹவ் சீன் வாட் இஸ் பயோஸ்ஃபியர் what is natural vegetation uh, wildlife uh, factors responsible for the vegetation and types of forest we have seen biosphere biosphere the sum of all ecosystem next natural vegetation all the plants and trees which grows naturally in a region is called natural vegetation wildlife the animals which are not domesticated by the humans is called wildlife and then factors responsible for the vegetation they are temperature rainfall altitude and soil and then types of forest we have seen in that tropical deciduous forest and tropical evergreen forest we have seen in the previous session types of forests you know what are the different types of forests that is tropical deciduous forest tropical evergreen forest mangrove forest temperate evergreen forest temperate deciduous forest mediterranean forest and coniferous forest in that we have seen already tropical deciduous evergreen forest and tropical deciduous forest we have already seen in the previous session the remaining types of forest we are going to see in today's session this is a map of india this india map shows different types of vegetation in different parts of india the legend is given to read the map this gr- green color shows the areas which are evergreen forest tropical evergreen forest and this color shows the areas which is covered with tropical deciduous forest and these areas a light green shows the mountain forest and the coastal regions with here this uh, areas shows the mangrove forest and sandal color shows the tropical thorn forest mangrove forest mangrove is a tree with the roots which are above the ground these mangrove trees we can see in the coastal areas these trees will grow both in salt water as well as in fresh water it it is a group of trees and shrubs that lives in the coastal areas coastal areas means along the shizu coastal areas means along the shishu it grows in areas of tropical as well as in the subtropical regions it grows in salt water as well as in fresh water and also brackish brackish means less salty than sea water so this mangrove trees grows fresh water salt water as well as in brackish water you can see the picture of the mangrove forest see it is grown in the coastal regions we can see the roots are above the ground and these areas are always swampy swampy or marshy we can say marshy means always wetland very wetlands so this type of mangrove trees grows in the swampy regions now climate mangrove forest grows where the temperature is above 15 to 20 degree celsius and it protects the coastal areas from the soil erosion as i told you already soil erosion you know what is meant by soil erosion the top layer of the soil is washed away by the wind flood rain water so that is called soil erosion 
these mangrove trees are helpful to protect the soil in the coastal areas and different types of trees. Now all these trees Sundari, Kiora, Goran and Kiva these are the varieties of mangrove trees. These are the varieties of mangrove trees. Now you have heard about Sundari trees. Sundari is a name of a tree mangrove tree which grows largely in West Bengal. So that area is called that delta region is called as Sundarbans delta. Have you heard about Sundarban delta? Why? Because because of more Sundari trees are grown there, so that delta is called as Sundarbans delta. Now, animals, you can see the marine animals and marine animals. What do you mean by marine animals? Animals which live in water, animals which live in water is called as marine animals. So, animals like oyster, fish, crab and animals like crocodiles, snakes, herons and pelicans we can see in mangrove forest. You can see the pictures of these, uh, see the, you can see fish, oyster, crab, these are the sea animals and you can see herons and pelican. Temperate evergreen forest, temperate. This is equator, zero degree, tropic of cancer, twenty three and a half degree north, tropic of Capricorn. 23 and a half degree south arctic circle 66 and a half degree north antarctic circle 66 and a half degree south now Temperate, temperate means from Tropic of Cancer to Arctic Circle. This region is called temperate region. And in the south, from Tropic of Capricorn to Antarctic Circle is the temperate region. So, the trees, the forest which is present in these regions is called as a temperate evergreen. You know very well about evergreen. Evergreen means always green. So, the forest which is situated in these areas is called as a temperate evergreen forest. This forest grows along the eastern coast in the temperate areas of the world and between from Tropic of Cancer to Arctic Circle in the north and from Tropic of Capricorn to Antarctic Circle in the south. So, it grows in these regions and it is located along the Pacific Ocean in the northwestern part of North America and southwestern part of South America. Now, the climate, the climate of the region, it enjoys in these areas the climate is very cool and with heavy rainfall. And here both hardwood trees and softwood trees we can get it here. And so this forest is also called as mixed forest because here softwood also we are getting as well as hardwood also we are getting. So this forest is called as mixed forest. And the trees like pine, eucalyptus, cedars and oak these are the trees we can find in the temperate evergreen forest. So you can see the pictures of these trees pine tree, oak tree, cedars and eucalyptus. You know very well about the eucalyptus. The oil which is extracted from the eucalyptus leaves have more medicinal value. Now animals which we can see there, 
are bears, deer, salamanders, woodpecker, boars and leopards and rodents. What is the meaning of rodents? Rodents means it is a kind of mammal which has sharp teeth. Mammals which has sharp teeth. It is a mammal which has sharp teeth. So, beavers, rats, squirrels and porcupines, these animals we can see in that areas. You can see the pictures of these animals, bears, salamanders, squirrel, porcupine and deer. Next is the temperate deciduous forest. You know very well about the temperate, just now I explained the areas from Tropic of Cancer to Arctic Circle in the north and in the south from Tropic of Capricorn to Antarctic Circle. These areas are the temperate regions and deciduous. What is the meaning of deciduous? Deciduous forest. All the trees in this forest will drop out the leaves during a particular season. That is called deciduous. So, temperate deciduous forest. This forest is located in the higher latitude. What is the meaning of latitude? Latitudinal lines. At the higher latitudes, we can see in the temperate zone and the interior and also we can see in the interior parts of the continents. The climate. The climate of this region is very cool climate with uh, average 10 degree Celsius and it receives moderate rainfall and the leaves grow during the spring and in summer in, in summer it change the color and fall during the autumn season. The trees in grow in this forest are oak, ash, maple, chestnut, cherry and walnut. You can see the pictures of walnut, cherry, maple tree and oak tree. Maple, you have, have you heard about the maple? From the maple tree syrup is extracted, it is like honey, it is used in the food products. Next about the wildlife, the animals like owl, hawks, raccoons, foxes and wolves, we can see these animals in the temperate deciduous forest. So, you can see the pictures of hawk, raccoons, raccoons is also a type of mammal which has fur and wolf, fox and owl. Next about the Mediterranean vegetation. Mediterranean, have you heard about the Mediterranean Sea which is above Africa and below the Europe. Surrounding these areas in Mediterranean Sea, surrounding the Mediterranean Sea, Mediterranean type of climate will be there. And also this Mediterranean type of climate is present in uh, South, Southern California, Central Chile and South Western Australia. So, in these parts we can see Mediterranean type of vegetation. And the climate, the climate here in vegetation in Mediterranean region is mild rainy winters, hot and dry summers. And mostly in Mediterranean region, we cannot find tall trees, mostly shrubs and small trees we can see here. And most of the plants which grows in this region will have waxy leaves, waxy leaves to conserve moisture during the summer season. And the trees have thick barks. What is the meaning of bark? thick barks. Bark means this is the tree, the outer layer of the tree, this part is called as bark, this part is called as the bark. It is very thick, this part is the bark surrounding the tree, the outer layer of the tree, this is called as the bark. So, in the trees which is grown in the Mediterranean region have thick barks. Trees like oak, olive, fig, beech and eucalyptus we can see in this region. You can see the pictures of beech and olive. From the olive seeds oil is extracted. It is used in the 
it is used as a vegetable oil also and you know very well about the fig it is used both in a raw form and in a dried form this fig which is used in the dry form is good for health it is very helpful it has contains more fiber and it is very helpful for the digestive system next about the wildlife bats deer squirrels foxes lizards and falcons are the animals which we can see in the mediterranean vegetation you can see the pictures of deer bats and lizards next about coniferous forest what is meant by coniferous forest the trees in this forest are in cone shape and the leaves are in needle shape so this forest is called as coniferous forest this coniferous forest is also called as taiga it is also called as taiga coniferous forest means the trees are in cone shape the leaves are in needle shape it is uh, grown in the higher latitude and these areas are mostly covered with snow these forests are found in the subpolar belt of northern hemisphere that is between 50 degree of north latitude to 60 degree north as i told you 0 degree equator 23 and half degree tropic of cancer 66 and half so in between that region that is from 50 degree to 60 degree north this type of forest we can see only in the north not in not in the southern part because southern part antarctica it is fully covered with snow and water areas so in that area it is not grown only in the northern part we can see this coniferous forest and the regions of canada and eurasia what is the meaning of eurasia europe and asia together is called as eurasia and this forest is also known as boreal forest or we can call it as taiga why it is called as taiga because because it is covered with snow and it is found in the high latitudes in the mountainous areas and the climate the climate here the winters are very severe and the temperature is go minus degree minus 40 degree celsius here we can get softwood trees and conifer it has thin and needle leaves the trees like birch cedar pine spruce and fir trees we can see in this region you can see the pictures of fir tree spruce birch cedar and pine tree we can see here and the animals which we can see here are silver fox lynx mink and green deer and bears these are the animals we can see in this coniferous forest you can see the pictures of green deer mink lynx and silver fox so far we have seen different types of forest you know very well what are the different types of forest that is tropical evergreen forest tropical deciduous forest mangrove forest temperate evergreen forest temperate deciduous forest mediterranean forest and coniferous forest these are the different types of forest we have seen the remaining part of the lesson we will see in the next session thank you to receive our online lessons please press the subscribe button and you will receive the latest updates thank you